Hey guys, and welcome back to Deltarune. It may be the close to the finale, so let's just go ahead and get back into this. Alright, so last we left off, Susie and Lancer had a bit of a scrap. Uh, but they're best friends again now, and we are going to go talk to the king. So, that's progress at its finest. Alright, let's talk to these guys. Whoa! Oh, whoa! We're the three former kings! We beg you, free us! Once, all four of us ruled together, but when the Night King arrived, everything changed. Oh, my diamonds, my jewels! You must tell me if they are okay. Alright. I was arrested for making a puzzle without a license. I, I never made another word search. Promise. Since I didn't want to fight you guys, I got locked up. How can I? You guys seem way nicer than the king. Oh, I'm flattered. Thanks. I was used to be alone in these cages. Now everyone's here. So many new people. Wish we could go back to the good old days. But it's just these fit <laughs> filthy cages. Alright. I forgot that there were actual animal crackers back there. So that's interesting. Forget where we're supposed to go. Because Susie came from that way. Maybe it's up here? Or is that where we came out? Yeah, that's our cell. So yeah, it has to be back that way. For some reason I thought we came through this door. Oh yeah, it's like the elevator in Undertale. Uh, Alright, this lift should take us out of here. Now, it might take a while, so... Get comfy, everyone. I like how everyone has their own definition of comfy in an elevator. Hey, Ralsei. You know Lancer's dad, the king? Yes. When we meet him, do you think he'll have to... hurt him? Susie? I mean, I could easily smash him, but... You guys, I know that is not really your thing. You're more about, uh, groveling, like total losers. This is true. And I was thinking, maybe, I could do that too? Susie, you mean you want to try acting? Uh, well... Susie, we'd be happy if you acted with us. And don't worry, we'll be there to help you. You won't have to figure it out by yourself. Sure. Alright. Aww. Susie's turning good, guys. Hey, Ralsei. Susie? Are you still gonna make those, uh, cakes? Well, will you stop making fun of me? Well, if I have to, I guess. Then I'll bake you as many as you like, alright? Yeah, I think you can make that many, dude. Sweet. Chris just sat there just listening. I think we're more of an observer. Well, this is our stop. Hey, Chris, wait a sec. You know, I'm starting to realize. It'd be easy for us to get out of here if we all uh, get along a little more. So next time we fight an enemy, you tell me what to do, I'll listen to you. But you know, don't tell me anything stupid. I'll go back smashing heads, alright? Noted. Chris, I'm counting on you, okay? Aww. Alright! Cool. She found her place. In the circle of friends. All right, so now we are in the main castle. I mean, <laughs> that's sort of a dungeon. It's just a basement with a lot of cages. So technically, I don't know. okay. So we can't do that. All right, hello. Alright. Uh, I'm serious. Wait, 
raccoon can I say to someone trying to kill us? Aw, Susie, you're said why not try saying something you wish someone would say to you? Or a man from the free <laughs> sandwich day. Cool. Ah. Ah. Ow. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna spare this guy. Wait, I'll have Susie spare that guy. Okay, so ah. And then we'll have Susie spare that guy. Oh, Please, you body attack like the soda machine. Spears. No, Ralph Day. them with treasure. My back hurts, but my life has never been better. I mean... What I would do, like, I don't know if... Well, unless you're a scaly person or, like, a dragon, I don't think sleeping on treasure is something people would normally do. That's just me. Do you want to sleep on treasure? That's your business. <laughs> okay, so I can't go that way just yet. Oh god, ow. Alright. There's a box right here. We open the treasure. Nice. We got a sandwich. Alright, so I think we actually have to go back this way. Uh -huh. So the worms have decided to crawl out and play. Uh, who's there? <laughs> Thou'st fools. Oh my god, it's just Metaton's counterpart. <laughs> I am Rolf's Canard, the world's greatest adversary. Thou hast promised past all Rolf's outerless conjunctions. Sorry, okay. But thou were created by utter weaklings. Now prepare thyself. The strongest puzzle of Thou's life. Toil worms. Lost, frightened, confused. Good. <laughs> Toil from deep despair. The world's strongest puzzle. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, see you later. Oh yeah, he's like the puzzle guy of the castle. And I, I don't know, I constantly refer him to him as Metaton. You'll see why later. Well, he has like the same mannerisms. Almost. Regarding legs. Oh god. I am very bad at this. Okay. This open. Oh. Not that door. There's the one up there. I'm so stupid. Eesh. 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 Okay, there we go. Uh, there we go, okay. I think before we enter this fight, I'm going to give everybody something to eat. Alright, 
shut up. That's the problem. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Alright, look wise. Okay, I'll show you. Watch this. <laughs> Get back here, let me flirt with you. That one was just like, I don't think so. No, you wouldn't. It's not your bed. You gotta ask manners first. Good friend again. Hello. <laughs> Thus, guys, really think that was all I had to Wrong. It is time for you to feel my real power. Behold, my ultimate puzzle. I got you. <laughs> Face the strongest puzzle worms. This time, the difficulty are magnitude's grander. See and See thou in a hundred years, thou feeble insects. Oh, it's a reaction. Ah. <laughs> Gullible worms, that wasn't even my ultimate puzzle. I have a waste better one right here. Can we see it? No. <laughs> oh, he's great. I love him. Okay. Why did I do that? I need to give Susie some nourishment in a bit. As soon as I get out of this hellhole. Okay. Do I have anything? Shimmering shard. Dur -dur -dur. No, I do not. Okay, well, she's just gonna have to hold on until I find something. What's this do? Oh, hey, it's a pirate egg. tree for parties. At this second party. Susie, you destroyed their cake. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the, in the toilet, which we do not have. Please try the basketball. 
behind as many as you can show. We made sports. Then we can play Twister to stay out of our way. We lose even by ourselves. like a hop and party. Wish we could stay. Alright, let's save. Okay, I think we are close to the boss. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. Oh good, we get to learn more about him. See what I was talking about with the legs? He has that presence. About yourself. I am the Duke of Puzzles, Rox Canard. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. My hobbies include us calligraphy, long keeping, bug keeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. Art thou my admirer's word? Well? <laughs> so that um so I miss funds worms, an army of funds. So that I may crush thou like fermented grapes into most delicious adult beverage. Vengeance! <laughs> oh, and how I amuse myself. Our Lord King art a cruel and terrifying monarch. However, he is also brilliant, for he decided to appoint me as Duke of Puzzles. After pretty much of everyone else was fired or placed inside a cage. Truly a benevolent ruler. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He is always... He always asked me the worst queries and called me his lesser dad. Our relation is none, you little water beetle. I place it with you in your father's I do not wish to hear from MP3s. I would rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he anyhow? Alright, so now I'm gonna sell, let's see, sell it. <laughs> Heh, <laughs> he doesn't even want the manual. Why am I calling her Lucy? Okay. Okay, go back. Bye. Let's see. Thoughts. Well, if we're just gonna be using the pacifist thing, I'm trying to remember the final battle. Like, if we actually have to fight him or if we can just pacify it. Hmm. Let's see, and I can give that to. could give this to whoever doesn't have it. I don't think Susie has it. It's either Susie or Chris. I can't remember who has it. Pretty much all the HP I had. Oh, funds are lacking. Is thou in the dungeon worms? But yeah, I think we're getting close to the end here. Okay, so equipped. Let's see what we got. Let's give. Let's see. card. Rousey needs all the help he can get. <laughs> Alright. So 
we got that. So let's go over here. I think this is Lancer's room, if I'm not mistaken. It's a hole. Presumably dug for fun. Let's get bored. Some kind of digging. Of course, you remember in the earlier thing he had like salsa and a tree stump. It makes sense. Okay, go ahead and save. And then I think the last part is up here. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, that just goes. <clears throat> My bad. Okay, so let's go over to here. Hopefully if we go up, uh, there should be one more thing. Enough worms. <laughs> thou mayest cheat in me with thine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Thou mayest prepare a battle with... Oh, let's just again. Whatever this is. Uh, it, it's the enemy from earlier. This crown looks different. Oh, I didn't see what Susan said. Yes, with my control crown, I may control any dislike you I feel. Oh no, it looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is very painful, but I'm certain this creature will feel it for me. And it seems how more pain that will be. Here it comes, again. Alright. Susie, you want to act? That was it. Blech. Sorry. Well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I hope. Wanna apologize for it earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Let me throw Rousey at it. Legs. Legs for days. Test of thine abilities, but thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of a construction. Uh, but you, luck be with you, heroes. Well, all right then. All right, this is the last step. Riches, they shine with price. Yeah, Lancer's dad isn't the nicest of guys. You'll see in a couple of seconds. All right, here we go. Hey, it's our boy. Hey, it's Lancer. Father. That's not his voice. <clears throat> Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? Uh, no, but... I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Uh, yes, I think you'll like them a lot. 
There's Susie. She's very powerful and strong. And where are they now? Um. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. <laughs> yes, father. Do you remember what I told you? Don't, don't get too attached. You have failed. They poison you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they're not. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightnings? Don't listen to him, Susie. Help! Help! Now watch, Lightnings. See what happens when you befriend Lightnings. <laughs> what the? You traitor! Come back here! Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I'm the hero. To you. I'm the bad guy. Alright. I love this song too. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So, if you get by without hurting you, then... But perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you want to see what I can do, huh? How dare you come here like this? Try to reason with the king. Silence, my bringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I will shatter your heart to pieces. You dare return the torment to us once again? Oh. Forget how, like, very complex his things are. Alright, so let's defend. And I don't think that'll work. Not yet, anyway. Be gone, I have found. Oh, 
Oh boy. I remember this one. Yeah, I can see how he looks like Lance a little bit. Okay, so let's do... Act King Courage again. Nobody really needs to be healed yet, so. Oh. Ah, ah, stop it. Stop. Ah. Shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall leave. Eh, eh, eh. Stop it. No. Courage, defend, and defend. Then you will see what it's like to live in despair. For the chain of justice. Oh, okay. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I've grown exhausted from our long battle. Light nurse. I. Perhaps have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always like this. There was once a time. Darkness and light nurse lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. 
It would be a lie to say that I too do not yearn for these days. Perhaps, perhaps the young ones are right. Please, let us put down our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Uh, Come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends. Yes. Friends. That sounds lovely. <coughs> My apologies. I'm not used to fighting like that. My body's getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. I'll see. There. You should all be healed up. Now, how do you feel? Let's see. Asshole. Never better. Let's see. Chris. Oh, spare me the heroics. Well, see, this is what happens when you trust people too much. Unless you have to learn the hard way. You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. Yep. Let me tell you a secret. Wait, this me Oh. Hey. Get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me into death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. Hey! Lancer? Everyone? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad, you're paying up a throne. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me. Now I'm the dad. You idiots. The Lightners are our enemies. Fools. We'll kill you. We'll kill all of you. Yikes. I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, dad. Nice. You alright, Chris? Chris, Susie. Oh, you're all alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to keep us down. Chris, Susie, I'm so sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost. We almost. Susie, you were right. I. I was foolish to think everyone. Uh, to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't the world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Oh. Well, uh, see ya. Okay, I think before... Uh -huh. Chris, you wanna go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? <laughs> well, you're gonna make me. Guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. Okay, we'll go to him last. Well, look, everybody showed up to tell us bye. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, it may have shown to respect you. Thanks. 
I'll be honest, at first we weren't supposed we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think you'll be fine. Oh, Lancer's the best. What a celebration! This calls for a cake! And this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. But wouldn't that hurt? Susie, no person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home anyways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we were friends. <laughs> I mean, I didn't... I did not want to. <laughs> so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I am changing some big rules. First, lightness are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. <laughs> Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it going to be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll be... We'll just see, I guess. Um, we'll see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. You should tell the prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little bitch. Well, I'm happy for Lancer. He is now the king. His Excellency. Oh, what about us? Aren't we gonna be restored as kings? Uh, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. Okay. Us animals decided it's okay if the king stays in the cages as well. But they'll have to put animal ears in. <laughs> okay. Let's go up here. What's going on? I slept through everything. Hathi looked at you proudly. Kiss. Luigi looks so sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is funny, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next bee day, too. We'll have one soon. If that's possible. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know why I was reading in all three voices, because they have heads. I knew you could do it. Though, I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I just liked my job. <laughs> nice. Wonderful woke, my name of ghost. Thou hast troubled the tyrant, freed us from the greedest. Truth history shall not forget. The tale of Roque's Canard and the Three Heroes. You did it. You outstood that rotten tyrant. I am happy. I happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in any case, I did nothing. Darn hosey, you done us a big hail. Now all in us faces can live in pieces. <laughs> you are absolutely amazing. Honestly, we owe you. You're the best. And the little ball can say something like thank you. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the way, I asked Steam to come by here, but there wasn't any interest. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, this is puzzle guy. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Sleeping? Hell if I know. He's following Chris. I guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Okay. Let's go then. Say goodbye to everybody. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I just wanted to say I. I really enjoyed meeting you two and. Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> um, Chris, Susie, I... 
Hmm. Uh, I can see you all again soon. Uh, Next time I'll make lots of yummy cake, alright? That was my reaction to when I first saw it. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. But I wanna... But yeah, uh, when I first saw uh, Rousey, I'm like, hey, that looks like Azrael. But... I guess there's like some counterparts. Maybe it's all in, you know, imagination or whatever, but that's cute. He's so cute under there. This is the fountain. Don't know how, but it feels like we've stumbled into something really important. Well, there's no time to think about us now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. can't see anything. <laughs> hey, watch it! Huh? The unused classroom? How do we get in here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, it wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we've been fun to talk. Alphys. I, I don't know, either way. But yeah, look. It's like the whole board. See, you got like the checkered board, then you got like the cat that was helping us. Then you got like the checkered board. Then you got the cards. It's interesting. It's a light switch. Okay, let's go then. Man, the sun is already setting? Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better next time to ask us, huh? Well, I guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Aww. Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? You're so sweet. See, I told you Susie gets nicer by the end. Door is locked. Cool. So this is pretty much the end of the game, but there are a few extras that I do want to explore before we end things. But yeah, I really, I think uh, Toby said that he was going to release part two at some point, just when he can get enough people to help him work on the game. So in the meantime, I can't wait for part two to come out. I will play the heck out of that. Okay. Wee boink. Oh, it's mom's classroom. I'm guessing she teaches like kindergartners. Let's see. Nice. All right. So let's go out, shall we? Chris? Whatever, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to punish you. Hmm? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. 
You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Oh, that's good, Mom, for you. Always being overprotective. And there's nothing wrong with that. Toriel's a sweetheart. Oh, hey, it's our friends from class. Look through the window at the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you should <laughs> interrupt it. Seems like when the game is finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. I think that's Toby's persona in there. Lord of Hammer, first award-winning fiction series by log historian Garrison Bull. Gerson. Whatever it says. Hello. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Chris, what's that? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I'm already copied a bunch of pitches. Same picture of a soccer ball set for three times. Let's see who kinds of tense study hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. I don't blame her, honestly. That sounds like a good time. There's an anime review. Read it. <laughs> no, no, or yes. Hmm, curious. Oh, I wonder who wrote this. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series, and let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears, with a darker storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like it's a real adult, instead of an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without being a beach ball, not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one. It is more stable than ramen and... <laughs> Okay, I can do the Alvis voice if you want. It's more stale than the ramen I ate at home by myself with the lights off. Deans and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're pretty sure it's Alphys. Alright. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Alright. It's delicious. It must be whatever they meant by flavor tip. Funny. Chris, uh, uh, you survived uh, Shoozy? I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. Now, how to draw dragons is two, five, eight, three days of two. However, Chris, I'm the level of a volunteer assistant. If you turn in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 64.23. Consider it, Chris. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that guy. Alright, let's go down here. I saw Undyne, I'll talk to her in a second. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here, and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. I understand. Let the angel's power of light your way. Yeah, I did see fruit juice, but that's just silly. Ooh, it got dark. Well, it got silent. Sort of. It's a long pathway. There we go. Hey, look. Does this look familiar? It's locked. Hmm. Huh. Maybe it's the underground. But then again, I doubt it. Alright. Let's have a look-see, shall we? Town Hall. Hey, it's that bear. Mare's Chris. Charisma is about zero, so it's a negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Wait, short stuff. Why don't you- why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance is a foot too low, ate too much candies, lost your <laughs> frisbee in a wash. Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are probably. Alright then. Let's talk to our good old friend Undyne. Hey, Park, 
Get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait. It's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh, I wish someone would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Oh, good. We could talk to her. Dark World. What? There's a dark world inside the school. Ah, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds, anyway. That's a job for the school board. Uh. Alphys. Alphys? Where's Alphys? No idea what you're talking about. Why did they do something illegal? Gotcha, if I say this Alphys, I'll tackle them. <laughs> it's good as dead. Aw, oh, she doesn't even know who her soulmate is. Oh my god. Sorry if I spoiled that, but again, you have to play Undertale first so you realize who these characters are. <clears throat> if you haven't already. Oh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob a bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. Alright then. Okay. At least you Bundyne is supposed to be <laughs> directing traffic. But all she's doing is just standing in the middle of the street, yelling, get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I really feel it. Okay. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away? Alright, so I'm gonna go up here first. <gasps> it's our buddy Sans! Oh my god, I love him. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. Name's Sans. Sans is a skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Let's do... Friends. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. What? Got anyone I should know better? Me. Whoa there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into a friendship. Takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call her. Call me whenever you feel like. Nice. What's up? Okay, let's do friends again. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. Oh ho ho! She's great. Came by the store to buy some chocolate kisses. She said she's got it. Said she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like fun, kid, huh? Oh, I love Sans. He's the best. Alphys? Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Made in small bills. And slunk out of the, 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 slunk out of the place. Got was trailing on the floor. Anyway, the relationship is a purely business. So I guess I'll just let it go. What's up? Behind me? Yeah, that's my grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. Gee, it looks a lot like grilled cheese. <laughs> what a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. So I had to complain to the guy who runs it. Oh, got something better to do? Me too. Anyways, we stand here doing nothing. Hey, bud. You busy tomorrow? I need some help. It'd be great if you come over. I just live next door, you know? Wow, you were debating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. What are we gonna be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That's weird. <laughs> it's just gonna be you and my little brother. Bye-bye, He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. No response, but the distant trussle of bones. Mmm. Reference. The virus is probably in there. He's also another one of my favorite characters. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Okay. Hello. 
Yo, Chris, you survived Susie? I mean, I never saw her beat up anyone, but I'd be careful. Like one time, Snowy and Jonkington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then the ball rolled over to her, and she just, uh, froze solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could. Then I then came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally whipped us the handball. Anyway, Susie sucks. Alright. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You got a Miss Class of Alphas. It's not fair. If I skip class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. That's actually not even remotely funny. Then why are you laughing? Chris, you're okay. I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where'd you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm a cool teacher, you know. You're, you're not in any trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. This trash can's full of well kept flowers. Saucer of milk. I really want to see what's behind there. Oh, okay. Chris. About something? Flowers. Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He always asks me what you're doing in school, and he gives me a bouquet of them. I actually, he always gives me flowers. It really makes me wonder if he likes. If, if he likes. He has some comics I lent to him. Sure, Alphas. Honestly, kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and he can kick my ass. Ooh. Kinky Alphas. <laughs> this universe, I think she likes Asgore. Okay, let's see, Chalk. Chris, you know, you never got the Chalk. You deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, um, my homemade DVD collection of <laughs> Simtrons. You know, this sitcom about the middle school monster family. Middle class, well, sorry. It's got every episode in 28 seconds. It's the most funniest, most quotable show ever. Make sure you... Okay, I'm just gonna let her ramble. <laughs> I forgot she does that. Oh, I missed this. Hey, you don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's the perfect angel. And what she what does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out some milk, it's been disappearing. So I like to think of it as a cat. My cat. Alright, cool. What's up, buddy? Ice me up, ice me up, boss. Alright then. Would you be interested in trying out many of our 24 pieces of flavors? We got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperoni, and more. Stop on down at Ice Pizza. Kill. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh. Ice Pizza, you're the number one spot for Piper Cot Pizza Pizza. Hey. Hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Hey, it's Burger Pants. <laughs> well, buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I choose, change my mind? Uh, that's your job. Make no mistake, little buddy. Ice Pizza is hell. I can't even slack off seconds without hearing. Be a team player. There's no I in pizza. I guess there is. Yeah. <laughs> you just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in for it, dear buddy. Hey, little buddy, what's up? Ah, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet Rogue's Gallery. Blue ears, soft serve, obsessed, no concept of personal space, keeps accident accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. 
The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man. That guy, you gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Actually, all my co-workers. Where would I be without them? Happy place. A much happier place. When he said purple guy, I'm like... Do you mean Five Nights at Freddy's purple guy? Is that a reference? Hey, hey little buddy, what's up? Do you know when Azzy's coming home? Y you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be really sweet to cruise around like the old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not actually have happened. But one time, Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Alright then. The entrance is locked. No one is inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. Cool. But yeah, I think he made a Five Nights at Freddy's reference with the purple guy, but that could just be me. Hey there, haven't seen y'all in a while, huh? I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order a special. Of course, things happened, and then y'all stopped coming in altogether. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He ordered you a hot chocolate, and you two sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your bread. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got hot chocolate. On the house, honey. Aww. Uh, we'll take the special. Do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one will need anything and it doesn't look like treasure. You're alive? Nice. I'm working. This uniform's mandatory. Alright, let's see. Looking at my rug buddy, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all the leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Cool. Hey, it's the Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. Alright. Dude, remember when we used to sip class for the first hour of class to come over here? We were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Those crepes were mad worth it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit the fire elemental. If I get nervous, I just melt all the ice. Eh, maybe. So, for you two girls, that'll be cinnamon lattes, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood. Delicious. Alright, where haven't we gone yet? Oh, that must be the cat's parents. Oh my god, it's her! Chrissy, like, long time to see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course. Just get some buggers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So then I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. And a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good. I ate, like, six. And then suddenly I got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Alright. I'm gonna talk in Valley Girl voice, so shut up. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is no way to talk to your almost sister in law. Nah, I'm joking. But, like, remember that time I played Truth and Dare with Azzy? I, I, like, made him give his. I, I, like, made him give his me his first kiss. And then your mom found out and kissed someone and. Like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear, your family went to church, like, every single day that week. Alright, neighbor. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? She doesn't even realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is, like, so trashy. Once her sister served me coffee, and I swear, it was half Kaffir. Like, get a hairnet, girl, for, like, your whole body. I love that voice. 
Fun fact, whenever I do that valley girl voice, uh, it annoys the heck out of my fiance and I just keep doing it. Oh, I'm afraid no one is home right now, darling. Now, why don't you go prance on home? Oh, come out. I want to see you. Flower King. I'm guessing this is Asborn. Hey. Nothing better than hanging out at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. because it represents like if you play Undertale they have like the souls of like the different uh, people like the different kids that come down there and they're like different colors that has like all these flowers it's a golden flower it's flower except he doesn't talk but yeah I will be playing Undertale at some point I may or may not do it with friends because that's a game that's always fun to do with multiple voices. And if you haven't noticed, I am doing my best with the male voices, but it's a little bit hard. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. See photos. Photo of your mother and your father on their wedding day. Showing a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster <laughs> stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. Yeah, I'm not a fan of pickles either. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. It's an air mattress. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, and I could. Uh, use one of those bags of soil. Eh, perhaps not. I guess he lives here too? Yeah, I remember he lived here. Various bags of soil. It's a note. It says, No rent received again. Stop receiving... Stop giving flowers. Start selling them. We have one month. See. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Hard to take care of them in this climate. Sad that he has to get evicted. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Some kind of catalog. Alright, let's talk to him. So, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps when Azrael comes home, we could all go to dinner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Then we could all drive, have a nice drive around town. I might need to clean out my truck, but... Alright. Sorry for sniffing into the mic so much. I think I might be getting cold. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother. Our secret. Got a bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. I feel sorry for Asborn in this game. Dad's truck. Floor seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Nice, so he's a country music fan. But yeah, I feel kind of sorry for him because in this realm he, you know, oh, this is the other one, Caddy. But yeah, in the other game, he was the king of all the monsters. Now in this one, he's just, you know, the flower king. And he likes to give stuff away rather than, you know, sell it. Which is okay, but at the same time, you gotta pay your rent, dude. Look, Chrissy, like, what's up? Get out. 
happy. Aha. Meow, meow, meow. Ha, I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though. Your choice. Uh, let's do Azrael. Oh my god, Azrael, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when him went, bleh, when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl over him. Ooh. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Oh, that was so much fun. Delamas said hi. Oh, okay. So let's do neighbors. Like that green girl next door? My god, Chrissy, she's like my life villain. Like the other day, I went to go see Cat Petters too. And the only other person in the theater was her. And then I went to QC's and ordered a cat cappuccino? Cappuccino. Cat. Pe oh, whatever. <laughs> and like, it was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. <sighs> Copasaurus cop. I don't know. She sucks. Alright, let's do sister. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We're like totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted her to play the ukulele. She said no, and she's like told me my playing is an anti blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love love my freaked up little sales. Alright. I think we're just about done. There was one place I did want to visit though ended this episode. Um, there's a building that said hospital. Oh, it was over here. Let me just make sure there's nothing over here. Nice. She has her mat from her house. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? Patients can't hear it well from here, but personally, I enjoy it. It's old. Let's see. Piano shrunk to fit in the corner. Let's play it, yeah. Nice. Alright, sorry about that. The phone went off. But anyway, let's just keep going, shall we? Okay, so I don't know if there's any difference between the doors. <laughs> I just can't say that Sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to her and told her that she was a hot piece of work. <laughs> really? Yeah, she really slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still working at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No, well. Maybe you should wait. You should, you should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. I guess I better go. Alright, that's a group project voice. Oh, wait, that's a group project voice. Sorry. Burger again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's a beard. Birdly, Dad. He's not bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Um. Oh, jingle my gosh darn bells. <laughs> Looks like Christmas has come early. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? Really? You've got grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just that creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You wanna chat or something? Chris, even though we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Azrael's off to college, think he's doing some crazy parties like me and your dad? Yeah, I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woo! She always fussed about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. And once she hit me in the clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. 
Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so just some tests. It's no big deal or anything. Nothing a holiday can't handle. We gotta hear it in a gym. I can go back to you. I don't know. Yelling at you for something tangled in our lights display. Hey, Chris, want to chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way for me. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart kid, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember she used to be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not as nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being her, Chris. Not, not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Aww. It's a sink. Hey, Chris, that sink is really more interesting than me. Yes. Patient name for Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? Hey, I remember your dad brought me those flowers, but roses? What is this? Man? What is this, man? Beauty and the beast? That ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. Okay, who's in this one? Oh, hey, it's the ice guy. This castle's white wizards are... Okay. Uh, cool. Alright. Let's go out here. Did Noel leave? I'm gonna try to find her real quick. I think maybe she's back at the house? No, she wouldn't be down there. I don't think she'd be over there either. Hi, Sans again. Unless I totally missed her completely. And that's just Asgore's flower shop. There she is. Oh, hi Chris. Did you use a couple work again? I know you're having some trouble last time, so uh... I actually got a few things ready for you in case... Oh wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again and... Sorry Chris, I'll help you later if that's okay. See, it's cool. Um, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? That's too key. Uh, why don't I ask my mom for the key? I, I mean, uh, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll get over to Caddy's. Hi, Chris, is something up? Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so tired. I don't mean that something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is there something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. I forgot I, forget I said anything. I have a feeling... I forget, but I think she might have a thing for Susie. Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Uh, okay. Oh, she's 
such a sweet girl. Alright. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. When we go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all the time, right? Okay, let's see. Chris, what is it? Remember that video game you and Azriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smash Fighters? When he was very little, he loved that green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all the eggs with spots and decorations. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Chris, what is it, honey? We're going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Mm. Okay, I don't think she says anything else. Chris, perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look quite like yourself. Oh, pie! Give. Maybe she'll give it to me later. So I think that's pretty much it for all the secrets, so I'm going to go to bed. Yes. Alright. Oh, I stopped playing this game. Got some nightmares going on, Chris? That's the face of nightmares right there. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. 